Hey, welcome again. I'm so glad that you've been watching the broadcast and that something has stirred in your heart enough that you would come over to our website so that we could talk just a little bit further about some things of the Spirit. I love talking about the things of the Spirit. It's not weird. It's not fantasy. It's, it's real. Mm -hmm. He is real. <laughs> and Pastor George is sitting here with me. I'm so glad that he's still here and that he joined me on today's broadcast because he's a prayer partner and um, he's a man of prayer. And I love to pray with women, but there's just something about it when a man of God prays. You know, you can be a man of God, if you're a man, you can be a man of God simply by, by choosing. <laughs> To follow God, it doesn't mean someone that's a preacher. It means somebody that loves and follows God. Now, I mentioned to you earlier about 1 Corinthians 14, 2. He that speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not to men but to God because in the Spirit he utters truths. I like what this uh, translation amplified says, hidden things not obvious to the understanding. There are so many things that aren't obvious to our understanding. Some things are not even available to our understanding. You know, things to pray about, mysteries. And I, I have my little list here that we didn't get to on the broadcast, but I want to mention these to you just to expand the possibilities in your, your thinking and help feed your desire to pray in other tongues. And also to realize that as the Spirit is leading when you're praying, there are so many things you can be touching on you know, as, as we follow Him in prayer, follow Him in the Spirit, we begin to pray about things on many levels, many layers of things, way beyond even what your mind, as we've already talked about, can, can wrap around. So I wrote a few of these things. What about, what are the mysteries? In fact, I have this title on my outline. It says, Mystery Master Problem Solver. That's what tongues is. Mysteries of God Himself, His thoughts, his feelings, his purposes. 1 Corinthians 2, 14 through 16 tells us that we can hold, we have the mind of Christ and can hold the thoughts, the feelings, and the purposes of his heart. And praying in tongues reveals those things to us. Sometimes I just get a wealth, a, 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 a whelming up of an emotion that I know is the heart of God. The bottomless things of God, 1 Corinthians 2, 9 through 10, tells us that the Spirit of God explores and examines all the bottomless things of God, tells us things about redemption, things about the, the very nature, the character of God, the way He thinks, the way He does, the way He moves, understanding Him as well as understanding of the Word of God and, and the realm of the, the Spirit. Mysteries of the world. You know, what is your profession? There are mysteries in that profession to you. Mysteries in the arts, mysteries in sports, <laughs> mysteries in finance, mysteries in law, mystery of how to handle this situation, as well as mysteries of, of, of how to, um, to be better, how to do more, to be more creative. Those mysteries, they, they're in the Spirit. There's nothing He doesn't know. And by praying in tongues, it can draw out aspects of creativity. And I was a copywriter and, and, and writing copy to draw out of the Spirit. What does He have to say about this? What about the mystery of the future? Your future, my future, the future that's coming on the world. What's God doing in the future? The future can be anything from five minutes from now five years, or my whole destiny, praying out the destiny, the mysteries of our lives. Praying in other tongues puts us in touch with that. The more we do, now you're not going to attack all that in one minute or two minutes or five or ten or in one prayer session. But as we pray in the Spirit and we yield to Him, so many things are touched as we pray in the Spirit. This is one of the things my dad said. My future is not based on politics. It's not based in the stock market. My future is based on my inheritance in Christ Jesus. Praying in the Spirit is a divine secret between God and me. It is my future. It is my heritage. That's my future and my past. It is my destination. It is the vision of my life being prayed out and given root to 
before it is ever made known to this natural world. Hallelujah. Then Brother Hagin said that praying in tongues equips us to pray for things that no one thinks to pray about or about which no one knows to pray. What, when someone's in trouble, it could be someone you know, someone you don't know that needs prayer, needs deliverance, needs help. What about our politicians? Oh, mercy, do they need help? Well, there are things to pray about there you don't have any knowledge of. You have no insight to. But by praying in the Spirit, the things that are a mystery to you are prayed out and handled by the Holy Spirit in prayer. It, it's, it's an amazing thing and an amazing attribute and benefit and power, spiritual power that's available to us as we pray in other tongues. That's why when I would say to my grandmother, say, Nani, what, what do I do? She would say, Hit it in tongues, honey. Just hit yeah. it in tongues. And she meant just pray in tongues until the answer comes. And Brother Kenneth Hagin, he said, praying in tongues, praying much in other tongues will get the job done. Hallelujah. Well, there's a lot more, but this just gives you some things that you, where you can be stirred in your heart about it and, and grow in the 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 things of the Spirit. Now, I mentioned to you earlier that we have Sister Copeland's article, which is really nice. It's a lot of a good material on God's will as the Holy Spirit. You can download that. We also have resources right here on this inner, uh, my webpage as well as um, kcm.org and other places where you can have resources and find out things and study. I have a tape series or CD series on Deeper Understanding, Praying in the Spirit. We have um, Brother Hagen's book on praying in tongues. So there are a lot of other resources in prayer. And of course, we are not at, by any stretch the only ones, but we want to help you <coughs> and equip you from the Word of God as you follow the leading of the Spirit of God. Pastor, did you want to add something? Yeah, you know, I just thought it would be good as we begin to finish this up. I think we should do an exercise here. And what I have in my heart to do is to <clears throat> take the, the thing that's, <clears throat> excuse me, the thing that's weighing on you the most and let's pray in tongues over it. Yeah. Let's release our faith in praying in the Spirit for the answer, the direction, the interpretation, the wisdom, the concept, the ideas, whatever it is that the Lord wants to bring out of it for you to help lift that weight, and to bring the direction that you need. So I just think we need to do that. So if you're in a position right now to do that, just, just begin to pray in the Holy Spirit and, with and, us. And if you just prayed with us for the first time to be filled with the Spirit earlier in the broadcast, just use your faith and just, what was it you said? Just jump in, just by faith, <clears throat> yield. Yeah. Just, yeah. just uh, someone said this to me just yesterday to ab abandon unbelief. Abandon unbelief. That's good. I love that. That's good. So we are going to abandon unbelief yep. and just abandon <clears throat> ourselves to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we come before you now in the name of Jesus. Those that are watching us and those that are even part of our TV crew here that are helping us, Every one of us have things that we are facing, yes, Lord, in our lives that we need your wisdom on and your direction and your input. And so, Father, because of the ability to pray in other tongues, I thank you that divine mysteries can be re revealed to us and answers can be uncovered. So we do this now by faith, <clears throat> believing for the interpretation of whatever it is that needs to happen in our lives. So we come before you, Father, right now with the intent and the purpose of praying in the Spirit to receive your wisdom and direction. Thank you, 
il ma chambra ma cale bese che ti ono no mo soto io so ma sende i so i so ya na ma sha i so ya na ma sho te i sto sambra ma i ram creve se sho ro ma mo se mende basa tere be i la mo sho ndolo go so kro bo do shan tele gese i la ma sa bra ba ko sti bi di ono mo so i sa ro na ma she bra Ebra, e ronde branga bede beste che ti ha rabbassato. Pari a rabbassato rogo sambra na casta. Ira, talabane, mo salono mo cosciocco. Ia ia mo simbi anna mo sorga, bava se te gena. E la branda mo coboro balese. E la bande che ti ha rabbassato. Now, Father, we receive the interpretation of that. We do. We receive the wisdom as the well, as the as the the well of wisdom is there, and the bucket is going down and drawing up that wisdom. As we pray in the Holy Spirit, we see that bucket going down. As we pray in the Holy Spirit, we see it being dipped into the well of the wisdom of God. And that wisdom coming up to where it can be seen. Yes. So, Father, I receive that. Terry and I receive that. We all receive that right now. We receive the wisdom that we need as a result of praying it out in the Spirit. And, Father, we thank you for it. Now, just give the Father thanksgiving for it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for this. Just worship Him in other Just for a moment. Lift your voice and just... Praise you, Father. Oh God, oh, I am a man who is 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 a man um, receiving the, your prayer language if you need that. Mm -hmm. But I encourage you just to, by faith, keep trusting the Holy Spirit either way. And then also the outlines of these messages and the things we've covered, all uh, the, the purposes of the Spirit, the, um, all the things that the Spirit does in relationship to what God does for us, uh, for all of mankind, all those things, those are in the downloadable outlines that you can also get, kcm.org. And I'm so glad that you joined us now. Join me now, August the 30th, Spirit Led Prayer Live, right here, terrycopelandpearsons.com. Spirit Led Prayer Live, August the 30th at 7 o'clock, I think, the time and all the information's there on the website. And then you be praying with us. That's what that prayer comp meeting is about for the Toronto Conference in Praise September. God. So I want your faith. Yeah. It's not just about Toronto. It's about the great awakening in the whole world. So if the Lord would lead you to come, come join us. But either way, you can be part of Team Toronto by praying with us the Spirit-Led Prayer live August the 30th. Praise the Lord. Thanks again. We love you. Thanks again, Pastor George. Love you too. And we'll see you next time.